learners, today we are going to talk about the origin of the earth. It is part of the series of geography programs called Earth's Processes. Wow, how beautiful it feels. The trees, the birds, these mountains and grasslands, isn't it? Our earth is such a beautiful place to live in. Have you ever thought how the earth came into existence or how was the earth formed? Let me take you to this unknown world of the origin of the earth. Our earth which is one of the planets of the solar system originated 4.6 billion years ago. Oh my god, our earth is so old, isn't it? Not only the earth but all the planets of our solar system were formed during the same time. But wait, how was the earth formed? I mean to say, what is the earth made up of? Do you know? Let us explore what happened billions of years ago. We will try to understand the origin of the earth and the subsequent topics related to it with the help of a geological time scale. And what is a geological time scale? In simple terms, it is a time span shown on a scale and in this case, the geological history of the earth. The geological time scale has important periods marked on it which saw important developments in the earth's history. There are various eons, eras, periods, epochs matching with the geological time periods of say millions of years and thousands of years ago. This geological time period is basically a graphical representation of the time periods of earth's history. You all know about universe, right? Like many other systems of stars in the universe, our solar system is made up of nebula or the gas cloud. This nebula started collapsing and formation of the core started 5.6 billion years ago. Do you know what our solar system actually is? Our solar system is the system of sun and other celestial objects which is bound together by gravitational force. Here objects are the planets, moons, etc. Gradually the gas clouds or the nebula starts getting condensed further and the matter around the core develops into a small rounded objects. These small rounded objects by the process of cohesion develop into what is called as planetesimals. Larger bodies start forming by collision and gravitational attraction causes the material to stick together. You must be wondering, what are planetesimals? Planetesimals are a large number of smaller bodies. Gradually, these large number of small planetesimals condense or become compact further to form a fewer large bodies in the form of planets. This is how planets are formed. The origin of universe and our earth can be explained with the help of Big Bang Theory. This theory is also known as the expanding universe hypothesis after Edwin Hubble in 1920 provided evidence that the universe is expanding 
and has been accepted by all. The expansion of universe can be understood by using a balloon, putting few dots on it and blowing the balloon. Let us briefly brush up our knowledge about solar system and planets. Our solar system consists of the sun, that is the star, eight planets, 63 moons and millions of smaller bodies like asteroids and comets and huge quantity of dust, grains and gases. Out of the eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are called as the inner planets. Why so? This is because they lie between the sun and the belt of asteroids. The other four planets are called the outer planets. Alternatively, the first four are called terrestrial, meaning earth-like as they are made up of rock and metals and have relatively high densities. Do you know what are the other known as? The rest four are known as Jovian or gas giant planets. Here by Jovian it means Jupiter-like that is large in size. Most of these four planets are much larger than the terrestrial planets and have thick atmosphere, mostly made up of helium and hydrogen. Have you ever heard the name of Pluto? Till August 2006, Pluto was also considered as a planet. But what happened after that? In a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like many other celestial objects discovered in recent past, may be called dwarf planet. Our Earth can also become a dwarf planet, maybe after thousands and crores of years later. Do you know that our Earth is the only planet that has life? At least the known planet to have life. We have already discussed that the universe is still expanding and we haven't explored the whole universe yet. Why only the earth has life? Any guesses? This is because this is the only planet which has 1. Temperature suitable for humans, animals and plants to live. 2. Breathable air and 3. Availability of water. Therefore, these are the three most important features that make our earth suitable for any life to grow. Isn't this amazing? This was about the story of how our earth originated or was born. We will meet again with some other topic. Till then, you can compare the life of living organisms with the life of the earth.